Hello, and welcome to another episode of MTEL. And today we're talking about this cylinder head, um, which I have basically just basically reconditioned and basically given a new lease of life to. Um, basically, I honed the guides out, recut the valve seats, and basically gave it a good old clean. I reamed out the injector ports, basically take the new in to take the new injector seals and basically have gone over the head. There's a slight bit of corrosion in a couple of the guides, a bit of surface corrosion, so that's why I honed the guides out as well. Now basically I'm going to show you some of the tools I use to actually bring this cylinder head back to life. Right, the first thing was about the guides basically, because there was a bit of corrosion up the guides and a little bit of scoring basically, we had to basically get rid of that and hone them back out. Now. On an aluminium head, you have got a couple of options. You don't have to do that. You can actually have your valve guides pressed out and punched out, and then a new set of valve guides actually fitted. But this, seeing this is a steel head, a cast iron head, basically the guides are actually part of the cylinder head, so you can't get them removed. The only thing you can do is basically drill them out and then press some new guides in, um, which is a lot of work. So basically all I did with these is I honed the guides out. So basically what I got is I got a bit of bar, like so. And I cut a little slot in the end, as you can see. And then basically I got, let's have a look, see if I can see, see a bit of it. Basically then what I did was cut a thin strip, about an inch long, of 800 wet and dry. So I got a strip like so. Then basically you put it through the end of the guide, like so through the end of your honing tool that you've made put it through the end of the honing tool then basically you spin it around and you basically make a flap tool and you cut it to suit spray it full of WD WD the actual guide put it in the end of a drill so and then put it in the actual guide and run the drill up and down keep it moving and basically it removes all the burrs and any mess in the guide. Um, you shouldn't hone them too much because otherwise you get a lot of valve play. But you can obviously clean them up quite well with that. So that's the first stage of what I did. Um, next thing that I did was I recut all the seats because um, there was a couple of nasty pits in there. And for that I used a, a basically a valve seat regrinding tool. We have a central pin which you basically push into your guide which looks like this basically slips in then the tool goes over the top sits in the hole then you have a what looks like a big drill basically which spins the tool with a sh it's got a stone which has got an angled face cut onto it and then it recuts the actual valve seat so that's the next stage basically so once that's done um, your next stage then is to clean off your valve so you clean all the carbon off your valve so they're nice and clean like so and then oil the stems use some valve honing paste paste around the edge drop your valve in and basically work the valve and basically suit the valve to the seat and that's the best that's the way you get an airtight seal on your valve basically now that's all done and we're all clean sanded all the faces, cleaned everything up, washed it out with brake cleaner so there's no oil left anywhere on the head and the other good thing with doing this is it basically strips all the, the oil out and then any bits of dust or dirt that are inside the head you can then blow out and suck out or suck out with a hoover um, so you can clean all the dirt, all the debris out of the head um, Obviously I said obviously about reseating the injectors as well. I used an injector reaming tool, which is this thing here. That goes into the injector hole. It's got a cutting face on it. Put the handle on and you just spin it into the head and then it recuts the vat, the injector seat basically. <coughs> so now that's all done. Now it's time for reassemble. Okay, next job. First things first, when we start assembling our head, See, like I said, cleanliness is very important when doing any engine work. The cleaner you get it, the better. Now, first things first, we've got to put our valve stem seals in. Now, these are your valve stem seals. They come in very different, varying different shapes and sizes. 
Um, there are two different colours as well. Sometimes you find you get green ones and you get red ones. Especially on 16 valve heads like on ZTEX, you get green and you get red. And the difference between them, because you'll get eight red, eight green for the 16 on the ZTEX and other engines, is one is inlet, one is exhaust. And basically, if I remember correctly, if I am correct, the greens are your in because they are to do with low temperature and the reds are your exhaust for high temperature. So if you get stuck with that, hopefully that'll give you a bit of help. Right, next, we've got to put this on to the top of the actual valve guide. So first thing you want to do, get yourself your oiling can, oil up the top of the guide so it doesn't snag. And basically oil inside, make sure it goes all the way round, like so. Then what you want to do is I've got these. These are a tool for putting on stem seals. Now, you wouldn't put them on with this, you as in push them down because you'll crush them. But you can place them on to the actual stem with them. So you get them in the jaws just very loosely. So, put them on top, put it on top like so, let it go, take it out, and then if you get yourself a socket, and basically, you want the socket so it doesn't sit on the rubber bit, you want it sitting on the outer shell. So when it sits on, the rubber bit sits inside and you're actually pushing down on the metal outer casing. If you push down on the middle, you'll splatter it, if it's round the too far outside, you'll distort it. So you've got to get the perfect size so it's nice and snug in there. <coughs> get yourself your extension, put it on the top or so, and then basically push it home. Simple as that. Now what I normally do, put it back on top. Then don't get a hammer, I normally use just a little extension. Give a little tap and make sure she is all the way down. Now on some heads, you can push them on too far and then you will damage them, so be very careful. Let's have a look around the side. Yep, it's all the way down that one. Then another little drop of oil just on the top. Right, so that's the stem seal down, all nice and clean, and it is depth right down as well. I don't know if you can see that round the side. It is right down and good to go. So, right, next we've got to reinsert our valves. First things first. Now, obviously when I took these out, I've, left, I've kept them in order. And once you've honed your valves in as well, you've got to make sure that they go in the positions that you've honed them, otherwise all your effort would be for nothing. Um, also, when you home your, make sure you always home your valve seats before you put your valve stem seals on and you put your valves in, because once these go in, and obviously they pop through the stem seal by where the collets go, if you pull them back out, there's a good chance that you'll bite them between the actual valve guide and the head of the, head of the valve meaning that your stem seals will become absolutely useless, it will leak oil and it will smoke. So, yeah. So, first of all, get some oil on the valve, over the stem, give it a nice helping. Also, oil around the seat, just in case you're going to let it sit for a long period of time. Pump some oil into the guide. So, and then insert your valve, so, you work, and basically pop your valve back in nice and gently, pop, 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 she's home, and there you go, there's one valve in, and basically check the other side.
Okay, right, there you have it. All the valves are now in. Spin the head round. Now basically, once you've done this, sometimes the actual stem seals will lift. And basically if they lift, you've got to push them back down. Because the actual valve is through the actual valve guide, the top has opened up, so now it no longer sits nice and neatly inside the 11 that I was using. So we're stepping up to a bigger socket so we don't pinch the valve stem seal. Down. Time for assembly. Right, we've got our valve springs all clean. Bit of oil around the bottom of the seat. Belt on the spring and top. So, pump the valve spring in. Valve cap. Over the top like so. Porch. Make sure it is settled down properly, which it has. Then we're going to go to this tool here, the valve spring compressor. Put that on top. Over the head of the valve. Push it down. Now that's collapsed. Now we get our little screwdriver. Grease. Some grease on the inside of the collet, which will make it stick to the end of the valve. And basically, grease your screwdriver, stick your collet on the end, like so. And basically, you're in. Pop, get the screwdriver, spin around. So, next collet, rubber grease on the inside. So, stick it to the screwdriver again. lift the actual spring compressor up and on she goes simple as and that's how you do it I would say out of all the jobs that you're going to do putting your collets back in and putting your valves back together is one of your hardest yeah, it's one of the hardest very very fiddly very fiddly Literally, all you can do is take the time, go slow, slowly build it up.